We are continuing to follow breaking news. A Chicago police officer recovering after being shot in the West Englewood neighborhood. And police are still looking for the shooter. It's an IWGN. Zana Rebic has the latest from the University of Chicago Hospital. Well, just a few moments ago, we were told that the officer who was shot, her partner is being released from the hospital here. He was just brought in uh, to get checked out, but will be uh, going home tonight. But the officer shot, a police source tells us she was hit in the shoulder, and she will be held here overnight for observation. I was on the next block, and we was out there talking and stuff, but it been a lot of fireworks been popped around here also. So when we heard it, we're like, oh, no, that's just the fireworks. It's got to stop. It's going to stop. Got to stop. Around 545 tonight, two Chicago police officers tried to pull a car over in the 6100 block of South Polina in West Inglewood. As they attempt a traffic stop, the offenders speed off and then they slow down becoming parallel with the officers and begin firing a gun at them. Superintendent David Brown says the offenders then crashed the car at 64th and Bishop and fled on foot. Witnesses saying they may have run into a building. Dozens of officers responded, setting up a wide perimeter. Brown saying they're looking for at least two offenders. After an initial search, police on scene did recover some evidence. We have found a gun in the immediate area of where the car crashed. Uh, in addition, we also have car keys. Neighbors tell us this is the third Chicago police officer to be shot in this area in the past year. Officer Ella French was shot and killed just a half mile from here last summer. There's something need to be done. Something truly need to be done about the violence. This is a wake up call for us. It's time for us to stand up with the police officers and start walking and helping these police officers. Our officers are, have a difficult and very, very dangerous job uh, in attacking gun violence, but they run toward danger. They risk their lives every single day for all of our safety. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot tonight saying my family and I will be praying for the injured officer and the entire department as they grapple with yet another heinous and deliberate assault on our officers lives. I have asked the superintendent to use every resource possible to find the person responsible for this attempted murder of a police officer and bring them to justice. Superintendent David Brown said they are also running the license plate of the vehicle that crashed that these offenders were in. He would not say tonight if that was a stolen car at this hour. No one is in custody yet. Live at the University of Chicago Hospital, Dana Rebic, WGN News. Thank you, Dana.